afternoon. Hi, and this is little Alice, my little baby girl, aren't you? But she's going to make more appearances. So if you're a cat lover, please stay tuned because she's just a baby. She is uh, August, September, October, November, January. She's five months old. So yeah, you could watch her grow on screen. She's so cute, aren't you? So I'll let you go now. Can you say bye? <laughs> she may appear behind me in a bit. Uh, today I just wanted to come along and talk about the three children's books that I have to read most nights at bedtime for Cody. He's two years old and I love children's books. I love how colourful they are and the bold colours and especially some of the books that rhyme. I love reading to my children. I always have done um, since they were, it may sound silly to some people, but since they were in my womb. I used to read bits of my book that I was reading um, and I read basically from newborn because it's really good for them and I even get them a library card the library's free we can have as, well, at least 10 books um, on each card but yeah so the first one Cody is obsessed with is Funny Bones a childhood classic of mine so when he wanted it I was like I can't say no uh, brings back so many memories. This is by Janet and Alan Holberg. We all know the story for this. Um, and the famous beginning of, this is how the story begins. On a dark, dark hill, there was a dark, dark town. In the dark, dark town, there was a dark, dark street. In the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark staircase. Down the dark, dark staircase, there was a dark, dark cellar. And in the dark, dark cellar, some skeletons live. So yeah, if you used to read this as a child, I, I bring back all, you know, my childhood favourites. Um, maybe that could be another video, the books that I'm trying to get my children to read. Um, but yeah, Funny Bones, pictures are great, it's not scary. Um, but yeah, old characters that I still love today by millions. But yeah, also please, when you wanted this book. But yeah, that's one of Cody's favourites at the moment. The next one is The Squirrels Who Squabbled by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. Now we're a big fan of Rachel Bright and Jim Field books in this house. We have three, I believe, and there's two more to get. We've got this one, The Koala Who Could, which is another one I'll talk about next. And Way Home Wolf is another one. But yeah, this is a rhyming book and it's about two squirrels who want the last acorn um, from the tree and they have to literally fight for it they run after it um, they don't need each other they don't want to work together to get this nut and um, yeah then folks they fall off the edge down the waterfall i just love the pictures it's very autumnal this book um, it's one of my favorites and i do like reading it because my nickname squirrel but yeah, just the pictures, um, very autumnal, facial expressions on them are so funny. But yeah, it's a lovely rhyming book. Uh, how silly are we, he proclaimed all of a giggle. How greedily I've been spluttered Bruce with a giggle. We shall change from today, may the squabbling cease. We should celebrate seeing as we're both in one piece. But yeah, I really like that. The rhyming books are probably my most favourite. And the next one is also by Rachel Bright and Jim Field, The Koala Who Could. Now I do a really awful Australian accent for this one. But hey, you've got to make reading fun when you're reading to your child. Um, but yeah, this is about Kevin the Koala who's too scared to come down from his tree. Um, and then one day his tree falls because, I think it's a woodpecker. Yep, the woodpecker pecks the tree down. Uh, and he falls and then he realises he can't come off his tree, he can't. But then once he's off his tree, he realised he can. But I love this message it puts out to children. Um, it's because when life can be great, when you try something new. So, yeah, try something new, life can be great. But yeah, again, I love the pictures, bright. Very Australian feel, I think, to this one. But yeah, those are the three children's books that I'm reading mainly at night at the moment with Cody. Um, yeah, they may change this week. They may not. I might be reading those for another month. 
but we shall see i will keep you updated with his little reading um but apart from that i will talk about children's books again soon um so have a great day bye